In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a table of figures or a table of tables in Microsoft Word. This table of figures was generated by Word, which populated the figure title and the page numbers for me with just a few clicks. So stick around and I'll show you how it's done. And as always, if you find this content useful, please consider giving it a like. At the minute in my Word document, my first page is blank because I want my table of figures to be entered here. Then for pages two to seven, I have some dummy text with a few sample figures. To be able to create the table of figures, you firstly need to add some captions to each of your figures. Word will then use these captions to populate the table of figures. To add a caption, I'll select my first figure and then I'll click on the references tab at the top. Then I'll select the insert caption button. Alternatively, you can simply right click on the figure and choose insert caption. For the label, ensure that this is set to figure if you are wanting to label a figure. Or you can change this to table if you want to label a table instead. This would be used to create a table of tables. For the position, you can choose where you want the caption to appear relative to your figure. I'll leave mine set to below the selected item, but you can change this to appear above the figure instead. For the caption itself, Word will automatically add the figure number. Since this is the first figure in my document with a caption, it will be labeled figure one. Whatever you add in the caption field will then be shown on the table of figures. What I like to do is to add a short title to the caption. For this figure, I will add the title dog with tongue out. If you would prefer not to have the word figure in the caption, then you can tick this option to exclude the label from the caption. You can also create your own label if you wish by selecting the new label button. Lastly, by selecting the numbering button, you can change how the figures are numbered. By default, Word will use the number integers for the figure captions, but you can change this to a different style if you wish. Also, if you have separate chapters in your document, you can tick the option to include the chapter number in the caption as well. I'm happy with the default settings, so I'll press the OK button and OK again to add the caption. Notice how the caption is now visible under my figure. And this text is often smaller in style compared with the main text in your document. If you'd prefer to change how the captions appear, then go to the Home tab. Then in the Styles box, use the arrows button to find the caption style. Right click on this style and choose modify. Here you can adjust the appearance of the captions by adjusting the font, size and color used. I'll increase the size of my font slightly to 11 and then I'll click OK. The next step is to add captions to all the figures in your document that you want to add to your table of figures. I only have one other figure in this document, so I'll quickly add a caption as before. Now we are ready to create our table of figures. To do this, you need to select an area on the document where you want the table to be added. I want mine to appear on my first page, so I will click here. Then to add the table, go to the References tab, and then select Insert Table of Figures. You will notice there are two preview windows. The window to the left shows how the table of figures will appear on your document. You can also show or hide the page numbers by toggling this option here. By deselecting the right align page numbers option, you can have the page numbers appear next to the text in the caption without a tab leader. And by using the tab leader drop down, you can also adjust how this appears. The tab leader is simply the space between the caption text and the page number to the right. In the preview window to the right, you will see how your table of figures will appear if you publish the document online. By default, the entries in the table will have a hyperlink attached instead of page numbers, so that when you click on them, you will be taken directly to the figure in the document. If you'd prefer to have the table appear the same as the print version, then untick this option. Underneath, you can adjust how the table of figures appears by using the Formats drop-down menu. You can think of these as different styles. The drop-down menu under this will change what is listed in the table. Obviously, to create a table of figures, you need to ensure that the figure caption label is used. But if you want to create a table of tables, then change this caption label to table instead. Lastly, if you don't want to show the caption label and the page number in the table of figures, then untick this option. To modify the style of the table of figures, select the modify button 
and then the other modify button to adjust the settings. Once you're ready to create the table, return back to the main window and then click the OK button to create the table. Now you can see a table of figures has been created and this includes the figure number, figure title and the page number. A final thing I'll mention before I finish is that if you adjust the caption of your figure or if you move the figures with their captions to another page, then you will need to update the table to ensure the changes are reflected. For example, say I change the caption of my first figure. To update the table of figures, you need to right click on it and then select update field. I then suggest choosing the update entire table option and then click OK. Now notice that Word updates the table based on these new changes. So what I do is I recommend that you update the table of figures after you have made the changes to your document or at the very end so that it's up to date with the structure of your document. And that brings me to the end of this tutorial. Now you know how to add a table of figures that is automatically populated by using Microsoft Word. If you found this video useful, please leave a like. It really does help support the channel. If you've got a question, pop it down in the comments below. Also, consider subscribing for more weekly tutorials.